Hello everybody and welcome back to Animated Talk. This is Kevin Hogan. Today I'd like to show you two DVDs that I picked up from Walmart. This is The Prince of Egypt uh, and this is Joseph King of Dreams. These are both DreamWorks shorts but they were distributed in different ways. The original here, The Prince of Egypt, was released in 1998 and it was uh, a film that was theatrically released and it was a pretty big hit. Uh, it had uh, many different Hollywood stars that were participating in it. Val Kilmer, you also had uh, Sandra Bullock, Jeff Goldblum, among others that were voices for this particular film. Uh, this particular film also uh, had a, a relatively strong hit song in When You Believe. Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston uh, performed that particular song, and it did uh, go up for Academy Award. Did it win? Um, oh, yeah, apparently it did win uh, for its music, so yeah, it's Academy Award winning short. Uh, this other short, though, Joseph, King of Dreams, is a little bit more obscure. This particular film was released straight to DVD. It did win some awards on its own, though, for being a really strong straight to DVD film. Honestly, I think the sequel here, Joseph, King of Dreams, is actually a stronger film. I think it's got a uh, really powerful story, and I also think that the uh, film is a little bit more, um, let's see, uh, I, th I think it's a more complex story, as I guess how, is how I would put it. There was some uh, computer animation done for some of the dream sequences that Joseph has in the dreams that are in the title. Uh, there was some computer animation done there, which is a little bit on the cheaper side. But it kind of works because the uh, the animation that they did uh, through kind of early computer rendering uh, has a very uh, surreal quality to it. So the fact that it's uh, relatively cheaper done computer animation actually kind of works for the surreal quality that they're trying to put across. Uh, the rest of it is done in traditional hand-drawn animation. Uh, the hand-drawn animation here is a little bit uh, more simplistic than what you have in The Prince of Egypt here. Uh, it is a little bit less... Um, the, the movements are a little bit less complex, and there are some held drawings over here where, uh, for the most part, you don't have held drawings in Prince of Egypt. But in, uh, in just its overall feel and its effectiveness, I really think that this uh, follow-up, Joseph, King of Dreams, is really just a stronger overall film. And the song that's in here, uh, You Know Better Than I, is a really, really strong song. It's a beautiful song, and I feel that it's stronger than what is in Prince of Egypt. Now, uh, if you're looking for these particular DVDs, they're only five bucks. Uh, obviously, right now, DVDs are kind of on their way out. Uh, you have Blu-ray, and people are just moving away from uh, physical media altogether. So Walmart is clearancing a lot of this stuff out. I, I do like these packages, though. Um, I do like the fact that it's a little bit larger. Uh, what they show you here gives you a little bit clearer of a picture of the characters. Um, than you get on the traditional DVD sleeve. If I open it up, you can see it's a little bit smaller here. You know, it's, it's cropped down. So I do like the, the paper. It makes it feel more substantial. I also really do like the fact that uh, it, it makes it clear what your special features are in here. Uh, sometimes the DVDs make it very, very small. Um, uh, here, though, it's pretty clear what the special features are. Uh, for The Prince of Egypt, there's obviously going to be more. There's a making of documentary. There's also a uh, multi-language presentation of the song, When You Believe. Uh, this was a film that was theatrically released and was much more successful. So obviously, they're going to have some more behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, this one, though, it does have a read-along. It has a trivia game from the movie. And it does have a sing-along and a very brief story along, uh, I'm sorry, storyboard presentation. So, uh, you know, not bad for a kind of cheap Walmart DVD. Um, there's no great transfer here. This is as uh, basic as you get early 2000s uh, transfer. And so it's pr not, not nearly as good as you can get on Blu-ray. But as I've said many times here on Animated Talk, I kind of like things that are closer to how they were released in the time and not having everything so super clear that it looks uh, separate from how it was originally presented. So I'm perfectly fine with the transfer here. Speaking of things not coming across well, the light keeps going on my computer. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, my phone here. Sorry about the inconsistent lighting. It's the middle of the day, guys. 
But anyway, so would I pick these up for five bucks? Yes. Would I pick them up for much more than that? Probably not. Um, these, uh, the special features on here are relatively basic, uh, nothing that's going to blow your mind. Uh, but these are two pretty solid films, and I think both of them stand up, especially the uh, Surprise Joseph King of Dreams. And uh, for $5, I think that that's a, a perfectly decent price for what you're getting. And plus, they look pretty nice. I like the slightly larger boxes, uh, the paper sleeves. It's kind of kind of nice. It, it makes it look good on a shelf. Hopefully, this review uh, will help you to make some good decisions when you are buying or not buying animated films for your collection. And hopefully, this uh, dis discussion and critique will start some uh, really good discussions with your family and friends at home. Have a great day, and bye-bye.